Our final section of our fractions book, uh, book is dividing. But before we go into dividing, we need to go back into multiplying yesterday because I had a mistake in my video. If you look up here, I had multiplied straight across. 5 times 4 is 20. Negative times negative would be a positive, but I have 3 times 1, and 3 times 1 is not 1, it is 3. So if you didn't catch that mistake yesterday, make sure you adjust it now. And let's go into dividing. So the rule after we just saw our video is keep change, flip. We keep the first fraction, we change the symbol, and we flip the second fraction. So 7 fifteenths is now going to be times 5 over 4. We change this to multiplication and we flip this. And thinking about yesterday's lesson where we were reducing before we multiplied, if I change this into 3 times 5, it still equals 15. But now I can cancel out the 5s. 7 times the invisible 1 here would be 7. 3 times 4 would be 12. Okay, let's keep that in mind for keep, change, flip over here. Remember, keep change, flip. We're going to end up with negative 5 twelfths because we keep that. We change division to multiplication and we flip over 2 over 3 into 3 over 2. We're going to multiply, but before we do, let's see if we can reduce anything. I see 12 can be reduced to 3 times 4 if I'm looking at its factors which means I can get rid of the 3 and show that that's an invisible 1. Negative 5 times positive 1. Never forget, if you're multiplying positives or negatives to draw your triangle, negative 5, positive 1 gives me a negative 1 answer, or a negative 5 answer. I almost made the same mistake as yesterday. And then 4 times 2 is 8. If I'm dividing a fraction by an integer, or a whole number here, I need to put the invisible 1 underneath this, and then do keep, change, flip. So I end up with negative 9 over 10 times 1 over 6. When I look at this, is there anything I can reduce by? These both have a factor of 3 in common, so if I show their factors, 3 times 3 is still 9, 2 times 3 is still 6. I have a negative times a positive, so I'm going to make sure I have my negative over here. Then I'm going to cancel a 3 on the numerator and denominator. 3 times 1 is 3. 10 times 2 is 20. And finally, if we're dividing a mixed number by a fraction, we have to convert this to an improper fraction first. If you remember, 10 times 4 is 40, plus 3, we would get 43 over 10. Rewrite it as is. And then we're going to do keep, change, flip. And I'm going to rewrite this as 43 over 10 times 5 over 3. And I'm curious, can 43 evenly be divided by 3? Because that would be really the only way I could probably get something reduced from that 43. 43 cannot be evenly divided by 3. I get a decimal there. But this can be reduced to 2 times 5, which means I can cross off those 5s. I'm going to go back to my original, make sure there's no negatives here. I'm all positive. So 43 over 1, or 43 times 1 is 43. 2 times 3 is 6. Can 43 be evenly divided by 6? It can't. I get 7.1. So if I want to change this to a mixed number, 
I'm going to end up with the whole number 7 because that's a number that's in front of the decimal. And then 6 times 7 is 42, so that means I'm left with 1 over 6 because 43 plus the 1, 42 plus this 1 would be 43. Remember, when we're dividing fractions, it's keep, change, flip.